Just going to do a quick run through of this particular model for the female reproductive system. All right, so take a look at it now and pause the video maybe and get yourself oriented because I'm going to move through pretty quickly. All right, so when you look at this first, obviously you want to have some kind of reference point for anterior versus posterior, and for most people, that's pretty straightforward. You could see the buttocks over here, that's obviously going to be posterior. And another key feature, just in case for some reason it didn't have the exterior attached to it, would be this pubic symphysis right here. That's that cartilage disc between your pubis, between your two pubic bones. And the only term that, that that pertains to, some people have the actual pubic symphysis as an anatomical feature for this week. Uh, but all of you have a term that you need to know called the mons pubis. That mons pubis is really just this fat pad that sits right in front of the pubic, pubic symphysis. So as we get a little bit closer here, we can take a look and we can see this cut uterus right here. And on this model, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the red, the dark red that you see right in here, that's going to be the endometrium, and you don't have to worry about the functional or basal layer. You can't see that on this model. Um, moving out from there, we have the myometrium here. So this lighter colored tissue with the blood vessels in it. And then this layer right on the outside here, that's called the parametrium. And then on the outside, you have the, the outside of the uterus, kind of in this open space in this model right here, you have the retro, or sorry, the uh, recto uterine pouch right in here, and the vesico uterine pouch right in this little crack right here between the bladder and the uterus. And down towards closer to the vagina here, you have this region that I'm circling here called the cervix. The cervix has an exterior opening here and an interior opening here. The external opening is referred to as the external os. The internal is called the internal os. You can also see portions of this little crack right here that's actually outside of the uterus called the fornix. And that would be the posterior fornix. The anterior fornix would look similar and be on the anterior side but it, you can't quite see it here. It's kind of obscured by this big white pin that's just to hold the model together. This is not an anatomical feature. It's not real. And then you have the v vagina here. The little bumps represent rugae of the vagina. The opening itself is called the vaginal orifice. Um, moving more posteriorly, sorry, inferiorly, you have the labia minora and labia majora. And you have the clitoris here. And that looks like about it. So there's no greater vestibular bulbs or uh, vestibular glands on this model or anything like that. I think that's it. From this perspective, the one other thing I guess you can see, but in reality you'd look at it probably from a different view is the ampulla of the uterine tube or fallopian tube right here and ampulla again just means a widened region so it's just a wide it's a wider region of the greater or the actual fallopian tube which is the entire structure and then this red area is the beginning of what's called the fimbriae which you can't really see in this model but those are actually the little finger like projections that surround uh, a portion of the ovary and sort of catch the ovulated oocyte.